So why haven't you heard more people talking about this issue? Today, you're about to uncover what could be the hidden root cause behind a silent epidemic, autoimmune diseases. These conditions are quickly rising in prevalence, affecting millions of people around the globe, and they're now outpacing even heart disease and cancer. Imagine that autoimmune conditions are rapidly becoming one of the world's biggest health challenges, yet this critical information remains under the radar for most people. Take a moment to really understand what this means. When you look at the trends, the numbers are staggering. Conditions like multiple sclerosis, type 1 diabetes, celiac disease, Hashimoto's, Crohn's disease and others are not only rising but are doing so at unprecedented rates. Autoimmune diseases are practically skyrocketing yet there's so little conversation around this issue. Why is that? With such a clear and alarming trend why aren't we hearing more about potential solutions or even a greater understanding of these diseases? Hopefully as you follow along in this video you'll start to see how crucial it is to explore potential solutions and drive a deeper understanding of these complex life-altering diseases. To really grasp what's happening with autoimmune diseases, it's essential to take a closer look at the immune system itself. Your immune system is an intricate network, with two main parts working together to protect you, the innate immune system and the acquired immune system. The innate immune system is like the first line of defense, the part you're born with, which your mother passes down to you. It's ready to spring into action immediately when it detects any foreign invader, responding to threats almost instantly. On the other hand, the acquired immune system is something you build over time through exposure. This part of your immune system learns from experience, developing defenses after each infection so it can offer stronger protection the next time it encounters a similar pathogen. While the innate system is fast but has no memory, the acquired immune system is slower but becomes wiser and stronger with each new challenge. But when we talk about autoimmune diseases the acquired immune system seems to play a problematic role. Within this system, there's a critical type of cell known as regulatory T-cells or T-reg cells, which act as peacekeepers within your immune system. They help prevent your immune system from mistakenly attacking its own healthy cells and tissues, which is precisely what happens in autoimmune diseases. T-reg cells are like the moderators, ensuring that once a threat is neutralized, the immune response is kept in check and doesn't spiral out of control. When someone is struggling with an autoimmune disease, doctors often prescribe medications like prednisone to help manage symptoms. Prednisone, which is a synthetic form of the stress hormone cortisol, can indeed reduce inflammation, but it also suppresses both parts of the immune system, the innate and the acquired. While prednisone can be effective for symptom relief, it isn't without side effects. Meanwhile, there's another powerful tool for balancing immunity, vitamin D, which has been shown to support immune health in a unique way. Vitamin D has an extraordinary relationship with your immune system. It does more than just help, it strengthens the immune response while enhancing the function of T-cells. What's particularly fascinating is that vitamin D and prednisone both share anti-inflammatory effects, but vitamin D goes further by selectively supporting the peacekeeping T-reg cells. It helps to reduce the inflammation promoting Th1 and Th17 cells, both of which are elevated in autoimmune diseases. This gives vitamin D an incredible targeted ability to manage inflammation without the widespread suppression caused by prednisone. Now, there are even more reasons to consider the benefits of vitamin D over prednisone. For instance, prednisone tends to raise blood sugar levels, increasing the risk of developing diabetes. In contrast, vitamin D works in the opposite direction, helping regulate blood sugar levels by supporting insulin-producing cells. And while prednisone can weaken bones over time, putting you at greater risk for osteoporosis, vitamin D does the opposite. It actually helps strengthen bones by aiding in calcium absorption and promoting bone mineralization. Your immune system's strength also depends on your thymus gland, which sits just above your heart. This gland is the master of immune cell production, especially the T-cells. But here's the catch. As you age, the thymus gland shrinks, weakening immune function as it produces fewer immune cells. Vitamin D, however, plays a role in slowing this process, especially when you're taking it at higher, therapeutic doses rather than sticking to standard lower recommendations. There's also a fascinating link between sunlight, vitamin D, and autoimmune diseases. In his book What Really Causes MS, Harold Foster explores how people living closer to the equator, where there's more year-round sunlight, have significantly lower rates of multiple sclerosis. This insight points to a strong correlation between vitamin D levels from sun exposure and the prevalence of certain autoimmune diseases, suggesting that sunlight, and by extension, vitamin D, 
may play a vital role in lowering risk. Another notable source is Jeff Bowles' book, The Cure for All Diseases, which discusses the potential of high-dose vitamin D therapy. Bowles emphasizes that vitamin D doesn't work in isolation. It requires cofactors like magnesium and vitamin K2 to activate its full potential, a crucial insight for those interested in using vitamin D therapeutically to manage health. There's even a specific approach developed by Dr. Coimbra from Brazil known as the Coimbra Protocol. This protocol focuses on high-dose vitamin D therapy carefully monitored through blood tests to overcome resistance and optimize immune function. His protocol works by increasing vitamin D to a level where it balances with parathyroid hormone, making the vitamin D fully active in the body. Now let's be clear, this information isn't intended to serve as medical advice. High doses of vitamin D often raise concerns around toxicity, yet there's a difference between therapeutic dosages that are carefully monitored and dosages that could lead to toxicity. Understanding the balance is key. So after all this information, ask yourself, could vitamin D be a crucial piece of the puzzle for better immune health? With more awareness and knowledge, perhaps we can start to look at autoimmune diseases from a fresh perspective. Remember, taking charge of your health begins with understanding, and today you're already taking an important first step.